I mean, the, I mean, the demo has been going so far at the camp. It's a great thing to come back to, you know, with the other players, to see how they feel, to be together and just get ready for Stanko I probably I mean, for the last couple of years, two years, have been really wonderful for us. But we were ranked number 21 in the world, 22 before, now we moved five, five steps ahead, being number 17. And uh, we have a lot of young players coming up, a lot of people show interest. I mean, it's been wonderful. I mean, we have a lot of Nigerians all over the world. So I hope we can continue on this, capitalize on these. Before, we're in, like underdog, but right now it's seen us like a powerhouse in African basketball and the world for basketball. So it's a great one for the past last two years. Probably a genuine commitment. Commitment from the players, you know, they have passion for the game, passion for the country. For those people that want to play for the countries and also for the management, I mean, we, know, we need to be realistic. Look at what we have. We need funds, we need resources, we need proper facilities, proper equipment back home. A lot of things, but I believe we're getting there. Uh, we're just trying to, you know, put our leg in the right spot. I'm sure the recent Federation, they're doing it, trying to make things better and uh, for the interest of the game, for the interest of 160 million Nigerian people over there. I probably just heard about how work, dedication, desires, perseverance, and um, you know, humble yourself. You have to be able to know what to do and how to handle the situation. Everything is not going to be right because of circumstances where we are. You have to look at the positive aspect of it. You have to have a pride and be proud of you playing for your country. Wear that Nigerian color on, the, on, the, on your chest. So I, I think things is not going to go straight. Even in life, things doesn't really go straight. But when things is not really straight, don't be down. Put your hands up. You know, I'm sure I mean, we're going to get it. Just believe in yourself, believe in the situation, believe in the team. And, uh, so everything is going to be well. Just you have interest and you have dedication. I think we have a pretty good chance. Because, I mean, everybody is, I mean, we, we have the most difficult job right there. So everybody is coming to beat Nigeria and Nigeria is a team to beat. I mean, after what we did at the Olympics for the Olympic qualifiers. So right here now we have more pressure than anybody has because everybody's coming to beat Nigeria. I mean, that's the team to beat. So I think we need to work extra hard and the coaches, the staff that we had, they're working day hard, day night, and uh, I'm sure we're going to get there. I mean, they, they were really working out. But what I mean, I have to do that with my leadership, with my, you know, the way I lead, the on the court, off the, off the floor, and, uh, you know, aspect of my life. And as well as, I mean, I have a lot of Nigerian kids all over the world looking up to me. So, I mean, have a youth foundation, do a lot of things, charity stuff on the basketball court, outside basketball court, and try to help stop crimes and other stuff, even in the, in the UK. You know, and I have a program called and Shoot a Ball, you know, not a, not a gun, pick a book, not a knife, Bright Future Leadership Program, or Reach a Sausage, Drop Out, Drop In for the kids who drop out of school. So all these things are something that I really have to contribute to put in and I want to see how to put a smile on these kids' face. I have over 150 kids in the US now who went through my basketball camp. I've done it for 13 years. I have a, about a, more than 50, 70 kids in accountants, lawyers, engineers who've been through a basketball camp. But not all of us is going to play basketball. So try to so to these kids' life and just make them believe. And uh, all the kids say they want to be like me. I try to tell them, don't try to be like me. Try to be better than me. If you try to be like me, you're limiting yourself, limiting your ability. So try to aim higher, stay higher, stay focused, work. And the key point, never let anybody out work. Okay. Um, no, I got next! And then we just take it from there. You! Yeah, come up, yeah, come up a bit closer. No, they try to yeah. cheat me. <laughs> she might have to let me win. Because uh, I don't want to let that go. <laughs>